This is an engine uh, made to a design by T. E. Haynes, who published a series of books called Model Engineering for Schools. Uh, and book one of the series was uh, Steam Engine and Boiler. Uh, it was intended to be used in school metalwork classes. So I'm guessing that that is where this engine was made. But that is of course only an assumption. It's a very sturdily built and designed of course engine. quite large as well. It uh, uses uh, 250 mils of water in the boiler. So it's not a, a miniature by any means. wasn't quite sure how much uh, that's to put in uh, so I had to use my usual trick of filling it up to the top and then removing about a quarter of it so that uh, came to about 40 millilitres in this case rather a nice interesting design a mess burner and it seems to work quite well. The cylinder has a screw in the end here which I assume allows oil to be injected into the cylinder. I can't think of any other reason for the hole being there. An interesting thing about this example is that it's been made, uh, it's been built as a mirror image of uh, the 
picture on the front cover and on the inside of the book. Now, I don't know whether that was uh, intentional or accidental. I don't suppose it really matters. It works either way. Uh, there we go. It's a little bit uh, unbalanced, it vibrates a bit. I think I'm going to need to put some uh, anti-slip matting underneath it. Not a high speed runner. And the uh, piston seems to be blowing by a bit. There's a lot of uh, steam escaping from the bottom of the cylinder. It's a bit messy, presumably uh, because of the uh, blow by acid piston. It, uh, it spews out oil as well as water, so it gets a bit mucky underneath the, the uh, cylinder here. 